Hello all, my name is Sai Krishna and today I'm going to explain you about CNN based automatic speed and steering control system using MATLAB. So the paper actually explains about the project CNN based automatic speed and steering control, which is actually uh, developed in MATLAB. So coming to the introduction, um, the core system uh, of this project entirely depends on the machine learning algorithms that are present and the uh, in uh, machine learning algorithms, the vision softwares that are present out there. Neural networks and artificial intelligence and deep learning have their uh, have taken their roots in every application such as autonomous driving systems, smart cities, robotics, video surveillance, etc. These technologies are being extensively explored in the automobile industry, which faces a lot of challenges in its automation. In deep learning, a convolutional neural network, CNN or ConNet, is a class of tube neural networks, most commonly applied to analyzing visual imagery. So these visual imagery is actually processed through uh, uh, convolutional neural networks to give their predictions. They are also known as shift invariant or space invariant artificial neural networks. And, uh, all these neural networks combinedly uh, are used for image classification, medical image analysis, natural language processing, and uh, fin uh, financial time series uh, predictions. Uh, in, this pro uh, in this paper, we predominantly fo uh, focused on the functioning of automated vehicle in a way most accidents could be avoided. So the central idea is to automatically detect the traffic signs by the vehicle and produce stimulus accordingly such as for reducing the speed of the vehicle to set speed limits, and also for taking diversions and uh, so many other tasks. The process of making the speed and steering adjusted with respect to the images captured with the camera placed on the prototype vehicle and taking the advantage of uh, mechanical actuators along with the embedded systems is explained in this paper. Uh, this, is, this is the model that we have used uh, for developing the uh, image classification algorithm. So Google Net uh, is a 22 uh, layer deep convolutional neural networks uh, system which can be loaded with a pre-trained version of the network either in the image net or uh, uh, places 365 data sets. So the network train is trained on the image net class uh, which actually classifies thousand object variables such as keyboard, mouse, pencil, and uh, many animals as well. And uh, the other one is the places 365 data set uh, in which uh, the places like field, park, runaway, lobby, and uh, 360 uh, uh, more places uh, shall be recognized with the network. So these networks have learned a uh, different feature representation for a wide range of images. And uh, these features could be extended for the da uh, data set that we have prepared. And the network size would be 224 by 224 pixels. So these are the tools that we have used. MATLAB, MATLAB is a uh, numerical computing environment where uh, all the uh, mathematical calculations could be easily done. And uh, not only these, but uh, it has a built-in extension for uh, toolboxes. So in MATLAB, we have used Google Net toolbox and uh, we have used Arduino toolbox for uh, programming Arduino. And the data set that we have used, uh, is from the Kaggle, uh, where we, uh, there are 328 images uh, under each label, uh, extending, up, okay, extending up to 42 labels. So therefore we have uh, 13,776 images in total for training the model. So these are the hard, hardware tools that we have used uh, in developing the project. Uh, Arduino Uno, which is an open source, uh, open source electronics platform based on easy to use hardware and software and it has a microcontroller at mega 328p and uh, we also have used uh had a foot motor shield uh, which is equipped with two connections for five volt servos connected to the Arduino high resolution dedicated timer and uh, we have uh, a stepper motor connections and we have a uh, dc motor connections but uh, to the shield and uh, we are using a servo motor uh, a servo motor is a rotational uh, motor wherein uh, it can go in any direction indefinitely and have an any angle rotated. A, potential, a, a potentiometer is uh, responsible for that action. DC motor, a DC motor runs on the voltage of six volts and it could be extended till 12 volts as well. So this is the methodology that we have followed in, in developing this project. The foremost step is the detection of the image by the camera. 
so a image shall be captured by the camera that is placed on the windshield and uh, is shall uh, and shall be further processed so the process sh uh, image shall be uh, passed into the google net classifier if the image is matched with any of the trained images then the command is passed to the processor based on the label detected by the camera so uh, based on the trained images uh, uh, the uh, Google Net uh, classifier gives out a prediction of uh, one of the 42 labels that we have trained upon. So then the processor produces an impetus based on the provided algorithm. For example, if the label is turn left, then the microcontroller directs the motor to the turn left. If there is a label detected in the image, then the whole control of the vehicle shall be directed to the user angle. So the model used in this project is Google Net, which is a pre-trained model given out an accuracy of uh, around uh, 74%. So once the, uh, let's say if a label is detected as turn left, then the control transfers to Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno is programmed in such a way that uh, if at all there is a no response for time, then the driver, uh, then the control actually transfers to the Arduino Uno and the required turn is executed based on the working of the motor shield and the steering which is done, which in turn is connected to servo. So the processor and the process continues till the motor engine stops or no sign is actually detected. So these are the, some of the examples of from, uh, labels that we have used in the training data set, uh, which consists of speed limits uh, and uh, we have a uh, yield and stop and there, there is a uh, label of uh, no vehicles and uh, vehicles over 3.5 metric tons prohibited and uh, so on. So, uh, these are the results that we have got uh, after the, uh, the process. The training and validation accuracies obtained during the training process are saturated at 77% uh, after uh, uh, many iterations accuracy. But this can be improved with improved data pre-processing and other parameter tuning. So the test results have been obtained in the identification of signboard and the action initiated for the labels is summarized in table one. So whenever, uh, let's say uh, 120 kilometers per hour a sign uh, is detected, then the speed is limited to 120 kmph. So if the traffic sign is end of speed, then uh, limits the manual control of the speed. If uh, the traffic sign is bicycles crossing, then the speed is reduced to 30 kmph. So if a, tra uh, if a traffic sign is go straight or right, then the manual control of the steering, then uh, the whole responsibility of steering shall be transferred to the uh, driver who is driving it. On the right, uh, you can see the training and uh, training increases and validation losses. Uh, in the bottom uh, are the images uh, that are recognized by the model. In conclusion, uh, this project uh, can uh, avoid the accidents until uh, that are occurring due to the human negligence and uh, ignoring the signs that are present by the road, all the speed limits that are being ignored and uh, all the uh, limitations that are applied over the road for avoidance of accidents and all. So this project can actually improve that and uh, help the humanity. Thank you.